The main opposition party in Somaliland, Wadani, has had its second general assembly in Hargeisa, the capital city of Somaliland. Delegates and guests from regions of the country, Boro, Boroma, Berbera, Ergavo, and Lassanod have attended from the opening to the closing day of the convention. The theme of the convention was the national cohesion and fair distribution of national resources. In the first few minutes of the convention, the Convention Preparation Committee chaired by Ismail Yari delivered a report on the preparation efforts. Fifteen candidates for key party leadership positions have been announced. Most importantly, the chairman of the party, Herse Ali Haji Hassan, and the secretary general. خدر حسين عبدي The party's secretary general Khadar Hussein Abdi who is seeking re-election has explained the importance of the convention spoke about the agenda of Wadani while underlining that the party is growing fast and gaining more supporters across the nation. He said the party achieved tremendous success since its foundation and expressed optimism for winning the next presidential election which is expected to be in November next year. <laughs> Today is a great day as Wadani Party will pave a new path for Somaliland's democracy. The outcome of this conference shows the political maturity of the party. More of the political heavyweights are now members of the party, while others are on their way to join us. The key political speeches will be delivered by the chairman and the speaker of the house. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about the party. Watani was founded in 2011 by politicians led by Abdurrahman Iro. The party took part in the political associations and local council elections, which it won a large of the country's municipalities and later on progressed to become a national political party. The second election was the 2017 presidential election in which we won the majority votes of the majority cities and gained more than 40% of the votes. All this clarifies that the party is growing fast and moving forward. After the presidential election, the party engaged in major political reforms regarding the administration and policy making of the party. <laughs> The main agenda was for the members of the party to elect their top leadership, including the chairman, deputies, and the secretary general of the next five years. Amendments of the party's bylaws have been proposed, most importantly, removing the post of interim chairman and the leader, which are unique to Wadani Party. Another amendment was meant to increase the minimum membership duration required to hold leadership office. It was increased from two months to two years. The party officials unanimously approved the amendments and adopted it. 
The party also officially approved the presidential nominee of Abdurrahman Iro for next year. Abdurrahman Iro announced his intention of not running for the chairmanship distinguished him to become the first incumbent chairman to make such a political decision in Somaliland history. During the opening remarks, party officials kept praising Abdurrahman Iro for being the first incumbent chairman to hand over the political office without seeking re-election and defined him as a true leader with a solid political vision. Abdurrahman Iro said that Wadani Party is the youngest yet the fastest growing party in Somaliland. He pledged more women and youth participation in the party's policy making. He also condemned the government for degrading press freedom and human rights. Wadani is the youngest among our national parties, yet the fastest growing and the most creative party. Thanks to the pioneers of this party, both men and women, to anyone who contributed his or smallest amounts or efforts to the party, we recognize your contribution and thank you for being supportive. Ladies and gentlemen, the party was founded to reshuffle the political landscape in the country and to open political space for the young. The number of youth members we have in the leadership of the party is an eye-opener to be an explicit evidence of that desire. The party wants to put forward an agenda that responds to the needs of the people from the west, central north and the east of the country. The party was founded to rejuvenate the social trusts, improve the political participation of women, the young and the marginalized. <laughs> Talking about the country's foreign policy, Abdurrahman Iro recommended Somaliland to have a clear and long foreign policy. He highlighted having diplomatic relations with unrecognized states like Taiwan would not add value to Somaliland's case for recognition. Somaliland, why don't I? In the government of Chukta, let him have those years that he made the deed or his after a cut higher to see the hard the Utah. It is a rad into Somaliland. Somaliland needs the incumbent governments to come up with a strong foreign policy agenda on Somaliland's recognition for the opposition parties to endorse. Since the incumbent president came to power, we experienced a diplomatic decline. 
we lost some of our allies, including neighboring countries. We can take as an example the fact that Somaliland was not invited to the inauguration ceremony of Ethiopia's Prime Minister. There is a decline in the number of UK MPs who advocate for Somaliland sovereignty. We need to dedicate more time and energy to our quest for recognition and to establish relations with African Union members. Establishing close diplomatic relations with powerful states in the UN Security Council with veto power is essential to our recognition. Therefore, we recommend strengthening our relations with China, which is engaged in tremendous development projects in the region in Djibouti and Ethiopia. Unrecognized states like Taiwan would not be of any use to Somaliland's quest for recognition. <laughs> Abdul Rizak Khalif, the Speaker of Somaliland's House of Representatives, applauded the party's preparedness to lead the nation. He pointed out that many people who were against his policies when he defeated Tuwadani were now sharing the same values with him and joining the party in large numbers. We have to prepare for political change. We can achieve this by engaging in inclusive politics uniting the people and developing a clear political plan and to have patience for our people. As the chairman has already pointed out, the challenges faced by the country's press freedom, politicians, traditional elders, with all those listed challenges, we can overcome with perseverance. In 2017, when we were holding presidential elections, there were many people who do not share our political views who are with us today. In 2015, when Hirsi and I and other members resigned from the cabinet over dissatisfaction with the leadership of the ruling party, some people criticized us for taking that decision. It is great that today we and those critics are all here together and sharing the same values. <laughs> This secretary of Wadani's women wing, Fawsiya Khais Farah, believes the party champions women's participation and their aspirations and highlighted our thoughts regarding the party to address the issues of abuses against women. <laughs> وقاعدي مانتا مركان قدد يكوشري إنو حسبي قبل بحي وقبل انغاديها وينكا 
I am very delighted to recognize that the party leaders fulfilled all commitments they made for women participation. The 30% quota we were offered can be seen today in this convention and the number we have in the delegates who are from the six main regions of the country. In the meantime, Wadali party officials welcome on stage defectors from the ruling party Kumie, who called for a leadership change in the country. They believe that Wadani is the only party that can be trusted in the leadership of this nation. One of the defectors is Abdullahi Okuse, a former Somaliland minister and prominent politician who announced his resignation from the ruling party Kulmie. He made the announcement while delivering speech at the Second General Assembly Convention of Wadani Party. However, Okuse declined criticism from his former party Kulmie but recognized Wadani as the next party to lead the country. He said the new Kulmiye, referring to the incumbent chairmanship of the ruling party, is destroying the party's repetition. Abdullahi Kuse expressed his optimism that Wadani party will form next government in Somaliland and endorsed Abdurrahman Ero for presidency in the 2022 presidential election. Meanwhile, he praised Abdurrahman Ero for being the first incumbent chairman to hand over the political office without seeking re-election. The second year of the convention started with a report of government retaliating against pop star Sahara Ilyas who performed in the first day. Sahara Ilyas announced her expulsion from the national service at the beginning of the second day with support pouring from the attendees. Sahara Ilyas said on stage that the government sacked her from the national service after she performed the song on the first day of Wadani convention. She expressed confusion by the government's retaliation as she previously sang for the president. On the second day of the convention, which is the final day, the party official elected the top leadership for the next five years. Hersi Ali Haji Hassan has been elected as the new chairman of the party for the next five years. The 55-year-old pursued his studies in different countries including UK, India and his home country, Somaliland, where he is now leading the main opposition party in the country. He was a member of the Somali national movement which liberated the country from Sead Bari's regime. 
He started his career in the private sector at Dab Shield Group, where he rose through the remittance department, scaling the corporate ladder to become the CEO of Sumtel Company. He switched to politics, where the National Electoral Commission was his gateway. In 2011, the former president, Ahmed Mohammed Mahmoud Sa'ilanyu, appointed him the Minister of Presidency. During this tenure, he was regarded as one of the closest advisors of the president within enormous cloud. He resigned from the government and defected to the opposition party in 2015 over his opposition to president's endorsement of Musebehi for Kumiya's candidate in the presidential election. He ran on a post and was elected unanimously. <laughs> Since you have seen me adequate to become the party chairman, I promise to lead you according to the policies of the party, to follow the laws of the country, to prepare the plans, agendas and the programs of the party in consultation with all different levels of the party leadership. I will try all leadership steps within the rule and could improve the party. I will perform my duties with integrity and proactively and I hope that both the party and the people of Somaliland will rejoice in positive result of our unity in serving our country and people. I request that we unite mind, power and resources and support me in my endeavor to discharge the task you assign me. I seek no prestige but to become a leader who brings positive change for our people who are not only waiting for political changes where one official from a certain clan replaces another from certain clan but the possibility of real positive change which changes their lives, their economy, their education and their way of thinking. Not only political change, but social change. Milgo Sambalushe has been elected as the deputy chairperson and that makes her the only female top leader in the political party. The party also elected Abubakar Abdurrahman Good, Ahmed Omar Haji Abdullah, Muhammad Yusuf Wapeye, Saliban Duali, and Hussein Abdi Boss as the deputy chairs of the party. Khadar Hussein Abdi has been declared as the winner of Secretary General and will be serving for his second term in the post and the first elected official. On the closing day of the convention, party officials including Ismail Yari, Abdul Qadir Jirdi, Barkat Batum, Muhammad Sadiq Dami were all awarded medals of recognition for their service to the party. Wadani has concluded their convention with a celebratory atmosphere of electing new leadership. Their hope is that this will add new blood to the top brass of the party and provide momentum going on to the next year's presidential election. Few hints on the party's agenda for that election could be gleaned from the speeches and the theme of the convention. It is expected to include restoring social cohesion and overcome the divisive politics of the past four years and commitment to equitable development and distribution of national resources. <laughs> Ali, 
ولا صدى وا وطني وا وطني تسبيق وطني وا وطني تسبيق وطني نبدك وذا وا وطني وحلا لازم نعب وا وطني وحب غن دورا وا وطني وطنك دسيا وا وطني مشاد وطا وا وطني ويلوه لتشرا وا وطني Wow, what's that?